Okay, before I start today's future pinball setup guide for Windows PC, if you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss out on upcoming retro emulation content. That just means you'll get notified every time I release a new video and it really helps out my channel too, which I'm really appreciative of. So a few days ago, I uploaded a tutorial for your pinball and today it's been requested by several people to do future pinball. So I've looked into this and I've come across one of the best you'll get so let's just go over to the website and I'm going to leave the link in my description so you can download this now we got future pinball and we also got BAM now what BAM is going to allow us to do is play the most more recent up-to-date arcade tables so in your best interest I would seriously download future pinball and BAM where it says two in one next thing we're going to do is set BAM up so you're going to download an executable for setting this up if you double left click now what I'm going to do with this is actually create a new folder on my desktop just so it's easily accessible. So I'm going to right click on desktop, new folder and call this folder future pinball. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to the setup and I accept the agreement, just go to next and accept the agreement again, go to next. And this is the part where this new folder I've created is going to come in use. Otherwise, by default, it's going to create a games folder in my C drive, which I don't really want to do. I want to be able to go straight into Future Pinball of having to go into my C drive. So I'm going to go to Browse. And from here, I'm just going to locate my desktop, which is going to be under Users. Then my system folder is called Jamie. And here's my desktop. And if I just scroll down, I'll find future pinball just here if I left click that once and OK and go to next everything just here make sure everything's left as default that seems to work best for me so go to next next thing we're gonna want to do is maybe create a start menu folder I'm gonna just leave this one unchecked and go to next and we're gonna create a desktop shortcut too for this so go to next and we're just gonna wait for this to install Okay, it really is that simple. So we can launch BAM, which I'm not going to do. I'm going to uncheck that and just go to finish. Now we're going to next up look at tables. Now you can go over to websites or forums like Future Pinball Tables. And we also got VP forums. You need to sign up with these and they're absolutely free. But any more information for tables, that type of thing, these two appear to be the best for this. So anyways, I've got myself some tables and I put them in a tables folder. So I've got several here, mainly 1980s films. So first of all, obviously my favorite is going to be Nightmare on Elm Street. If I go in here, the type of file extensions that you're going to want are known as .fpt. Now, sometimes when you download these tables, you're going to get several different versions. And if you take a look at these, you'll get different dates on them and you'll get different editions. So in the case of Nightmare on Elm Street, if I go into the Ultimate Edition, I've also got a couple of more tables in here. So I'm going to randomly just drag out this one just here. So .ftp. And what I'm going to do with this one is go into the Future Pinball folder. And from here, there's a Tables folder. And this is where your .fpt files are going to go. So I'm going to drag that one inside. And if I go back to my Tables folder, I've got some more here. So when you download these, it will normally come in a .zipped folder. So for example, I got 007 Casino Royale. If I go into this one, I've got my future pinball table just here. And I'm going to drag and drop that one in there. And again, what I'm going to do, whoops, is come out. I've got He-Man, Masters of the Universe for proper old scores. I've got Alien Pinball Legacy. Day of the Dead, which is obviously a classic George A. Romero horror zombie film. Die Hard. 
and we got duck tails just here so if i go in there and again this is just like number on elm street we got different versions of this we got special edition folder so randomly i'm going to just choose the special edition no idea what it does and if i come back out and the next view i got is friday the 13th another classic horror uh, we got star wars jedi knight rider robocop and the amazing spider-man I did say this was going to be 1980s tables I was doing here. So anyways, these are all going to go into your tables folder. So once you dragged all your .fpt files into your tables folder, we need to open up future pinball. Now we got future pinball.executable just there. This is going to open up the regular version of it. And like I was saying, the version that we're going to download includes BAM. And BAM is going to support more recent pinball tables. So we're going to go to the BAM folder. And from here, there's a .executable FP loader. Open this one up. Here we go then. So it's pretty ugly to look at, admittedly. But Future Pinball also gives you the ability to create your own custom pinball tables. A lot like Visual Pinball, which I covered the other day. So to open up our pinball tables, we're going to go to File, Table Launcher, and as we can see just here, this is all of the tables that I just put into my tables folder. So I'm going to start this off with Robocop. So if I double left click, So I've just quit out of that by pressing escape. Now the C button on your keyboard is going to change perspective of how the pinball table looks. So as you notice through that Robocop table, it kept zooming in and giving us different perspectives on how it looks. So the C button on the keyboard does that. And to insert a coin, it's the number six. To start the game is number one. And the flippers are controlled by left shift and right shift. Now what we're going to do is just take a look at preferences. If we go to preferences and video rendering options, just here we can play around with video options obviously. So for example, we can change the resolution just here. Now we're not going to be looking at additional screens today, which normally goes under a DMD category. Uh, because I'm just doing this setup guide. It's a very basic one and I obviously don't have another display for this. So we can also change the aspect ratio just here to 4 by 3 but I'm using a widescreen, so I'm going to leave this one on there. We're also going to look at rotation. So obviously, if you want to kind of set this up for a real pinball table or say a virtual simulation pinball table, we can actually change the rotation just here. So for example, if I put this to 90 degrees sideways and press OK, if I then go to File, Table Launcher, and open up another table. So I'm going to select number on Elm Street this time, double left click. And as you can see just there, it's literally turned sideways and it's totally unplayable. So. We can't do that, but the option is there for those out there who's going to buy a dedicated screen to run future pinball and very easy to do. So next up, we're going to go back to preferences, video rendering options, and I'm going to just put rotation back to no rotation because my head isn't sideways as it were. I'm also going to make sure that vertical sync is enabled. What vertical sync does is reduces screen tear when things are moving around on screen. So I always recommend leaving vertical sync on. Uh, we also got depth at the table just here. I'm gonna lead this one to 32. 
And we also got different rendering options just here, such as render the game room. So in other words, if I was disable render the game room, the room wouldn't exist. And we also got the option here to take away ornaments and other bits and pieces. So if you've got a lower end computer, I recommend disabling most of these just here under rendering options. Example, if I take away render the game room, render ornaments, what I can do just here, go to OK and file, open up another game or rather another table. We're going to do Knight Rider this time. <laughs> And as we can see, I'm absolutely terrible with pinball tables. I'm not the greatest. Uh, so other things we can do under preferences and video rendering options, I'm actually going to leave these two disabled. I quite like the look of that dark room. Uh, we got other things here, such as model quality. So obviously models on the pinball table, if you put this to low or even medium, the clarity isn't going to be so good. Now, if you've got a higher end computer, then by far, just select high or even go to maximum, which is going to give us everything on maximum settings for you. Obviously, I'm going to just disable render the game room and render ornaments again. We also got rendering quality, so everything for me just here is set on maximum. We want high quality textures for the pinball tables, uh, texture filtering, trilinear, and anastrophic filtering, which is going to add a slight blur to things. We also got anti-aliasing. I'm actually going to put this one on the six times. What anti-aliasing does is takes away jagged edges on objects. So I'm going to leave that one on six times sample. We go to Halo System Dynamic Lighting at the moment, and we got several options there for lighting on pinball table. So what I'm going to do next then is go to OK. And with some of those settings now boosted up, I'm going to go back to Table Launcher, and I'm going to open up... Day of the Dead. Like I said, I'm absolutely hopeless with pinball games. Literally every time I go to play one, my pinball literally goes in the center and I've got no room to flip, so yeah. <laughs> okay, next up, we're gonna look at control options. Now, if we just go up to preferences, we got game keys and controls just here. And here we can actually map out the controls ourselves. So like I was saying just a minute ago, left shift and right shift by default are gonna be your left flipper and your right flipper. Some pinball tables are going to have some more features on, so just make sure you map out those buttons. Uh, but what we can actually do is connect a controller. So if we go to enable, and next to we got mouse. If I drop this down to Bluetooth, I've actually got my Xbox controller connected now. So once that's been enabled, we can actually now see everything's pre-configured for the Xbox controller. So, if I go back into a game or a pinball table, I'm gonna open up Alien Pinball Legacy. And that works perfectly with my Xbox controller. So I'm just using some buttons there and everything's working fine. And in fact, I'd probably even recommend using an Xbox controller or something similar. It seems a lot nicer to use. We can even tilt the table very easily by using a controller. So what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of gameplay to various different tables I got, just to give you a little glimpse of what Future Pinball has to offer.
that's it for today's future pinball and bam setup guys so some really interesting pinball tables to explore in particular i really thought star wars was really good and also not run elm street but there's a world of tables out there to check out yourselves anyways if you're a retro bat user i covered setting up future pinball through retro bat quite some time ago i'll leave the link in my description for that and i'll also leave the link for the last pinball setup guide i did which was visual pinball so anyways if you liked today's video hit notification subscribe and like so you don't miss our upcoming retro emulation content also join me on social media i'm on facebook instagram twitter and tiktok but until next time stay retro